Hello there and welcome to my platforming guide. In this video, we will be covering everything to do with platforms. Builds, basics, parkour, mission specific tricks, animation cancelling, etc. Let's get into it. Builds. There are two builds currently for the platform gun. First of all, we have the repellent build. Ever thought to yourself, man, I wish we could just wall off these grunts. Well, you sort of can with this build. You see, Repellent works by making the AI calculate a wider path. Simply put, the enemies see the platforms as being longer routes. So instead of taking the longer route, they walk around. This build is useful in salvage operations, deep dives and elite deep dives. Basically, if there is a static place to defend, this build will help you funnel the creeps. You start with 28 platforms and get 14 per resupply. We will cover Repellent in a little bit, but for now let's move on to the other platform build. The parkour build. This is my favourite build and it's the only one I use. This to me is the essence of the engineer, an unadulterated perfect expression of movement. With this build we have 32 platforms and get 16 per resupply. More importantly we have every tool needed for parkour. Clip size, full damage reduction and some ammo to back it up. This build only has 4 platforms less than a full ammo build and you get 2 platforms less per resupply, which is a pitiful and unnoticeable amount. You see, clip size counts towards your max ammo and for this reason I never recommend a full ammo build. Now moving on to the basics. Platforming resources. This one is simple, place a platform underneath the minerals you see on the walls. For minerals on the ceiling it's best to ask the gunner to zip it. No, not like that, I meant to actually put a zip line up there, if at all possible. If not, then place down 4 to 6 platforms in a pancake like fashion and then add a platform onto the side and you'll be able to have your scout go up there and pick it up for you. For overhang, simply place 2 to 3 platforms coming away from the wall. Climbing with platforms is another mechanic that can be used to great effect. Try to place the platforms at head height to get the most out of it. Also note, you don't need to press space to ledge hop. It's a common misconception. Quickly mine. Most terrain in this game takes 2-3 to three hits to excavate, excluding sandblasted of course or when you have the Rocky Mountain beer buff. Your platforms however take one hit, so you can place it on materials or minerals and mine it out. Don't worry, the platform doesn't override resources. You can of course negate full damage as well with the platform gun. The platform has a full damage reduction mod which can't be swapped out for anything else. This is the single most broken mod anyway, why would you want to swap it? There are two ways of using this. You can either use it reactively or preemptively. For those who like to be a badass and don't like preparing for anything, simply jump off an edge and fire on your way down. For style points do 180 and fire your grenade launcher. For those who actually take a moment to think of their teammates, I don't know why you would, you can simply place jump points everywhere you go. Don't forget to ping the plats to let your team know, also you should prepare a way back up if there isn't one already. More so for simple mining ops where you'll need to return to the drop pod. Bridging is another simple strat, though it's rarely seen. Usually the gunner or driller will make a bridge across any large pits. The platforms do provide something that the other two methods cannot however, line of sight and a floor to stand on. Now let's get into the more specific advanced stuff here. We have the reload cancel. You can cancel out the reload animation on most weapons and tools and the platform gun is no exception. Simply press right click when the bottom right has ammo in it. No really, it's that simple. I don't know what you're expecting. My simple 9 step guide to perfect reload cancelling. Yeah, god no. This is useful and all but we can do one better. You see, I know something that most other engineers don't. In fact, I don't know any other engineer main who does. You can cancel the firing animation. That's right, you can fire faster without this silly mod. Now for my simple 9 step guide to perfect fire cancelling. Ok, actually it's really simple to do. Press right click after you've fired. It really is that simple. It's my favourite trick and by putting it out there I risk it being fixed. So please use it while you can. Now for the most requested thing for me to cover and that's how to parkour also known as platforming or cheese surfing. Some people can't appreciate culture apparently. It's simple to do but hard to master. First thing, make sure you have the right build equipped. Step 1, run perpendicular to the wall and try to take a shallow angle if not. Step 2, jump. Step 3, fire your gun in midair. We fire in midair to maintain momentum. If you fire on the ground, one of two things will happen. Either you will walk and lose speed and not make the jump. Two, nothing will happen and you look like a bit of a lemming as you walk off the edge. This all depends on your settings. Toggle to sprint will make you walk, hold to sprint will do nothing and will ignore the fire input. There are a few things to keep in mind however. Try to make sure you place the platform so you land on the first half of it so you have some room to run and jump. Nothing more annoying than landing on the end of it and falling off. 
Number two, do not try and quickly ascend whilst sprinting. It will end up with you being swallowed by your own creation or hitting against the platform, which normally isn't an issue unless you have a wave behind you. And then it becomes a very big issue. And then my third point, make sure you always reload your platform gun, otherwise you'll hear. Followed by, you can use fire cancelling to ascend quickly. I know I just said that this is a bad idea. It's a really risky thing to do and should only be attempted by those who have mastered both the animation cancel and the standard parkour. It takes a lot of getting used to however, but once mastered it will overcome the main weakness of platforming which is gaining height whilst sprinting. And now for repellent. For this to work do not stand on the platforms and make sure there is some distance between you and the repellent. The easiest way to think of a repellent conceptually is that the platforms seem like a longer route to the bug, so it ignores it and paths somewhere else. If you go over the top with a maze, the bug will walk over the platforms to get to you as the maze is no longer the shortest path to you. You can test your platforms with Molly, who for some reason has the same AI as the bugs. Suspicious if you ask me, but then again it explains so much, I've been killed by her so many times. You may be asking, but what can I do if I took your parkour build instead? What can I do then, Lone? Well, I'm kind of glad you asked. You can roof, which also has its own benefits. You can attach proximity mines to high roofs to kill max hour waves. Or in the sides, which become choke points as well. Not to mention you can't really be hit by spitters anymore. There are a couple of things to note however. It requires a lot of ammo, so make sure you're below 50% ammo on your platform gun before even considering picking up ammo, and if you're above that threshold, use that and start on the roof. Secondly, bugs can walk down onto ammo pods, so either connect the roof fully to the drop pod or make the roof high and bring the ammo pods down a bit. On the point of ammo pods, order them before roofing, we've all done it at some point, just learn from our mistakes. Make the ceiling height tall enough so that bugs can't melee you from it, otherwise they'll path towards wherever they can hit you and then they'll start hitting you, so you don't want that to happen. With all that being said, if done correctly you just made a projectile free zone and you can no longer be flanked. So. Huzzah! Now for a couple of niche scenarios, eliminations can be a pain in the back, but you can mitigate that pain by making a small six platform high pillar which can block dreadnought shots. I like to place a few around the ammo to resupply safely, it's also a good spot to put your turrets and your gunners. Elevation! Don't forget to chuck your turrets and gunners onto your platforms regardless of mission type. Absolute neat trick that works every time. You can muzzle spitballers using platforms as well, really useful when dealing with a wave at the same time. Similar to muzzles, you can block line of sight instead if you don't have an angle or a wall close enough to the spitter to use. Platforming yourself when you die, this probably sounds odd but there is logic to the madness. Have you ever tried reviving someone in an awkward spot and it cancels? Or watch the scout grapple in to revive someone only to kill himself with full damage, or perhaps seen a teammate who needs reviving and there is no way down to him. For this reason we platform ourselves, we accommodate all of these situations ever happening and we prevent them becoming an issue. I hope these tricks help you in the caves of Hoxus. Don't forget to rock the subscribe button and stone the like. I'll be covering OCs next, there will be short and sweet videos so expect an influx of content. Thank you all for the wonderful messages of support from my first ever video, that really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch for live gameplay, I'll catch you all in my next video. Okay, that will do. Go. Wow! <laughs> yes! Oh, no. No, <laughs> You just kept walking. Wait, wait, wait.